Hi, I'm Ellen Beaton. I'm a, a freshman. Hi, I'm Lydia Anderson. I'm also a freshman. I'm Maddie Randall. I'm a junior. I'm Lauren Subrian. I'm a senior. I'm Emily Subrian. I'm a sophomore. I'm Justine Sindu, and I'm a junior. Jason Eichelberger here, Prep Cal Track. I am with the victorious ladies of Los Altos High School, the Eagles. You see in front of them, there's a state championship trophy. They are the Division II state champions for 2022. Ladies, congratulations. Uh, obviously, when a season starts, this is the goal in front of you here. Uh, just take us through uh, what this feeling of accomplishment is like for you. Uh, what is it like to know that your season journey ends with a state championship? I think coming into the season, we didn't really expect to like be here right now. Our main goal was just to win like CCS our section champ, and it's great to know that we've come like a lot farther. And it's been great to run with so many good people. I, I think it's just really like relieving and just like being able to make it this far. I think it's just like very. I don't know. I'm just very proud of everyone. Now, in terms of what you had to do to get here. Uh, every season has a journey that a team must navigate through. Uh, talk a little bit about your journey. Um, you guys start the season maybe not expecting this, but then obviously your accomplishments say state championship is possible. You have success midway through the year, and then you get to postseason. Postseason, it was expected that you guys would do very well, and you went ahead and executed that. Talk a little bit about running with that expectation and how you guys are able to push that aside to win that championship. I think we just took every meet one me at a time and we didn't really focus on like the end of the season just like focusing on every individual race and like performing well there. Yeah we just kept like pushing through every workout just like knowing that we would get to like a good outcome and just thinking about that and working hard through those. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. We definitely like focused on the little things like getting out hard, um, keeping a pace, um, and just one yeah. step at a time. Now, the one step at a time mantra gets you a state championship and I uh, believe this is the very first one in terms of cross country in school history. You guys are now immortalized in school history. What does that feel like for you? It's huge. It's mean, <laughs> like insane. Unreal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just so, I'm so, so proud of everyone here. Yeah. It's awesome. And obviously when you look back and, and, and see what you guys were able to do, obviously you take the confidence in what you've done this for. Uh, just talk a little bit about what you will do after this. Uh, maybe some postseason potential for you ladies. Uh, what will you take from the performance, not only throughout the season, but this meet in particular, and use that as you go along your journey? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we just, we'll take a little rest and then we'll get back at it. And yeah. Ready it's, like, for track. it's good to know that we have so many people to run with and that we can all push each other. So I think that will help definitely during track and like next season as well because um, so many of us have like another year. Well, they pushed themselves to the top of the mountain in Division Two. Again, congratulations, Los Altos High, the Eagles. They have a state championship in front of them, first time in school history. Ladies, congratulations on an excellent accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you.